In this video, you will be solving five non-verbal reasoning questions. We will begin with illustrative examples on rotation and mirror reflections. Rotating the circular object by 90 degrees clockwise transforms the object as illustrated. The red arrow that was pointing upward originally is pointing towards right after a 90 degree rotation. The yellow arrow that was pointing downward originally is pointing left. Applying another 90 degree rotation clockwise to the circular object brings the red arrow pointing downward. Applying yet another 90 degree rotation clockwise brings the red arrow pointing left. Let us quickly repeat a similar exercise on a heart-shaped object. The heart facing upward, after 90 degree rotation, is facing right. Applying another 90 degree rotation brings the heart facing down. And rotating it by another 90 degrees brings the heart facing left. Rotating an object by 180 degrees is simply rotating the object twice by 90 degrees. The heart that was facing up after a 180 degree rotation faces down. In similar vein, rotating an object by 270 degrees is simply rotating the object thrice by 90 degrees. The heart that was facing up after a 270 degree rotation faces left. Now, let us understand mirror reflection. Take the same circular object as before. When the mirror is vertical, the red and yellow arrows do not change in position, but the green and the orange arrow swap positions. In the mirror reflected image, the green arrow points left and the orange arrow points right. When the mirror is horizontal, the red and yellow arrows swap positions, but the green and the orange arrow remain intact. In the mirror reflected image, the red arrow points downward and the yellow arrow points upward. Let us begin with the five questions. First question. What is the fourth pattern in the given sequence? Pause the video and solve it. The question falls under the category, given three patterns A, B and C, what the next pattern is. From A to B and from B to C, there is no change in overall size of the pattern. So, let us rule out option, D, as an answer. Let us try rotating pattern A, name the four ends of the pattern as 1, 2, 3, and 4 as shown. Now apply a 90 degree rotation. There you go, you get pattern B. Applying the same 90 degree rotation to pattern B gets us pattern C. Let us apply a 90 degree rotation to pattern C. Answer is option B. Second question. If pattern 1 is related to pattern 2, what is the missing pattern that relates to pattern 3? Pause the video and solve it yourself. From pattern A to pattern B, the yellow squares have not changed in position. Hence, pattern D should have the same number of yellow squares at the same places as pattern C. We can safely rule out options A and B. Every triangle in pattern A is replaced with an arrow sign in pattern B. Further, the arrow points at the same direction as the tallest side of the triangle. Let us take pattern C and create pattern D by hand. First, put the four squares at the same locations as they are in pattern C. Then, start replacing every triangle with an arrow sign that points in the same direction as the triangle's tallest side does. 
The first triangle is replaced by an arrow pointing left. Replace the remaining triangles with arrows pointing the respective directions. The answer is option C. Third question. If pattern 1 and 2 are related, find the missing pattern that relates to pattern 3. Pause the video and solve it. In pattern A, there is a green triangle and a blue triangle on the outside of a yellow square. The green triangle moves inside the square, taking the opposite edge of the square. Similarly the blue triangle moves inside, taking the opposite edge. Pattern B is a combination of the two resulting states. Take pattern C. Start moving the triangles that outside the square, to the respective opposite edges as shown. The answer is option C. Question number 4. Find the missing pattern in the series. Pause the video and frame your answer. From A to B, a blue heart-shaped object appears on the next adjacent vertex, in clockwise direction. The yellow horizontal lines in pattern A, turned vertical in pattern B. And the circle with a missing piece, rotated 90 degrees. From B to C, similar such transformations took place. A new heart on the next vertex, vertical yellow lines becoming horizontal and another 90 degree rotation on the circle-like object. The missing pattern should have four heart-shaped objects. Hence, we can rule out option, B. The hearts are not inverted, but facing upward. Let us rule out option C. Option, D, cannot be the answer either as the circle-shaped pattern is identical to that of pattern 3. Hence, the answer is option, A. Option, A, has the fourth heart in the missing vertex. The yellow lines are vertical. And the circle-shaped object is rotated by 90 degrees from that in pattern 3. Final question. If patterns 1 and 2 are related, find the missing pattern that relates to pattern 3. Pause the video. There are three transformations from pattern 1 to 2. The pattern in the middle rotated 180 degrees. Its color changed from blue to yellow. Finally, the horizontal yellow lines in pattern 1 became vertical blue lines in pattern 2. We can safely rule out options, A, and, B. The yellow lines in pattern 3 must have turned into blue lines in pattern 4. Hence, in option, C, the circle-like pattern has rotated only 90 degrees from that in pattern 3. Option, D, meets all the three transformations. The pattern in the middle has turned 180 degrees, it flipped its color to yellow and the lines in the background have turned into vertical blue lines. The answer is option, D.